The number of reported cases of Lyme disease is up in several provinces and experts warn climate change could speed up its spread. It can be difficult to spot and have a debilitating impact on a person's life. Thomas Degla has more on how doctors and patients are struggling to find a treatment. I, I literally cannot walk. For Michelle Goldman, some days every step is a struggle. She blames her chronic Lyme disease for constant fatigue, trouble walking, and bouts of shakes and seizures. When you have doctors telling you, oh, this isn't real, your illness isn't real, you're not really sick, it kind of affects how you feel about yourself. Goldman got Lyme disease 19 years ago on a camping trip in New York State. She was treated and told she was cured. Years later, symptoms returned. Now she's been forced to quit her job and spend her days in bed. The pain is really, really bad. It's, it's bad. It's a severe situation, and I don't really have medical support. Such is the case advocates say for countless other Canadians bitten by Lyme, carrying tick, and falling ill. Untreated, the disease can attack the heart, nervous system, and joints. Hundreds are diagnosed every year, and by next decade, the number is expected to grow to more than 10,000 a year due to climate change. Making conditions, environmental conditions, better for all the animals that are involved in the transmission of Lyme disease. Yet patients say treatment options remain limited, with Lyme disease still hard to detect and sometimes undiagnosed. If it is not treated in the first week of infection, it can develop into chronic Lyme disease, which becomes much more difficult to treat. There's even debate over whether Lyme disease exists in chronic form. Family doctors here are required to keep the antibiotic treatment to under a month, but this Lyme disease specialist says sometimes that's not enough. The eggs take at least a minimum of three months to eradicate. Dr. Murakami was forced to retire after prescribing a long-term treatment. At least five clinical trials have provided no evidence that extended antibiotic therapy actually helps. In fact, giving more antibiotics is often considered unsafe. There's no doubt there's complications from antibiotics, but there's no doubt that the uh, short-term treatment does not er eradicate the infection and often it will come right back again. As for Michelle Goldman, she's sharing her story so others understand that for Lyme disease patients, the pain is real. You can look at them and they can look fine, but you have to just trust them and believe them. Advice that hits home for more and more people as the disease becomes more common than ever. Thomas Dagler, CBC News, Montreal.